Yeah, I, I think I think so. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So, first of all, yeah, I would like to thank organizers for inviting me to this workshop and for giving me this opportunity and for choosing this beautiful place in this beautiful country. <laughs> yeah, so today uh, I'm talking about some relation between light constraint field theory and covariant string field theory. So, yeah, this is my motivation. So, anyway, we have formulated covariant superstring field theories. So, it looks very beautiful, but also complicated. So, <laughs> if possible, we want to some more usable, usable theory as a tool. So, as a tool, this old one, Kaku Kikawa's light on string field theory uh, looks nicer and better. So, because all the light on theory uh, has very simple action and easy to handle, uh, so it has very simple action even for closed strings. So, if we can understand some relation between these more explicitly or more directly, our covariant string field theory becomes better as well as light on theory. So this is my motivation. So my ultimate goal is relating this light on SFT and covariant SFT. And some people, or in particular, some non-SFT people may expect that um, such a light on theory is uh, some gauge-fixed version of covariant theory. But we, we don't have um, any explicit construction. And in some sense, this statement may be correct, but yeah, I will explain it today. So yeah, anyway. So as a first step toward uh, this ultimate goal today, I want to consider so how, how the light constraint field arises from covariant formulation. So but maybe we should pay attention to this uh, difference because there is two types of difference. The first one is that field contents or arguments of string fields are different. This, this is a problem of uh, how to treat uh, the world seat mechanics as a constraint system. For example, light constraint fields consist of uh, physical mode only and takes this form. Its argument is uh, light con mode only. And covariant string field uh, includes also uh, physical and gauge mode. And its argument is given by uh, XBC CFT. And I will explain. So this CFT is equivalent to uh, some light con mode and some BRC carted. So this is the first type of difference. The second, so these Neumann coefficient or string overlapping are not equivalent. When we construct right con like theory, we can use um, conformal maps, which depends on momentum. But when we construct written type interaction, we just to use a conformal maps, which are irrelevant to momentum. So there are two types of difference. So this is a sketch of these theories. Uh, yeah, light con theory, uh, the field of light con theory, light con string field, consists of 
physical modes only, and its interaction is manifestly p dependent. And we can say uh, its string fields consist of physical mode and some unphysical and gauge mode, and its interaction is uh, p in, in independent. So we can expect um, like a this sketch. So in the class of Witten vertex, we can consider um, I mean its string field consists of physical modes only and its interaction is given by Witten type. And <laughs> like that. And these are equivalent under some field redefinitions. So in, the, in this talk, uh, I will talk about this step. Physical modes uh, can be created with the DF operators. Maybe, yeah. So our string field will depends on xi, xi sigma, and p plus, and p minus only. So in, in this sense, physical. So this is our strategy. Here, after considering some field redefinition or linear field redefinition, which is just a changing of CFT basis, then uh, we will find that covariant string field split into light cone one and BR stick halted. Then, like a making effective cellie, we can we can integrate it out. We can integrate out so some gauge degrees, uh, the degrees of BR stick halted. Then you will get some effective action. The classical part of such an effective action is um, gives right conversion of with the SLE. Okay. So this is our strategy. <laughs> and this is our result. If you start from with the SLE, you will obtain um, consistent right constraint field SLE, but it has uh, infinite numbers of interaction with some uh, infinite structures. So it gives a new type of light constellation, but different from Kirchhoff's one. And by construction, amplitude is exactly the same as original one. Yeah, for, for open, open, yeah. Yes, and probably also higher. Normally, there's a data exercise, no, really looking at higher. So, this is not a kind of surprise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah
to see it, let us consider the decomposition of covariant Virasol zero mode. We can decompose it like this. Then, as you know, this operator, which I call it N, counts the excitation number of this carted. And further, uh, on this carted, we can define um, this type of new potent operator, and it generates uh, this type of BRST transformations. And further, this N, oh. <laughs> and further, this N is actually uh, the exact operator. So, so any this decrossed state uh, satisfying or having some non-zero cultivated excitations uh, always becomes the exact. And thus, so we have no decohomology except for uh, the kernel of this operator. So, so I mean, BRST cultivated excitation has no cohomology for for this D. Yeah. So, to obtain some fiddly definition, let us consider the light cone and zero mode decomposition of BRST operator. The first line is uh, zero mode decomposition. And the second line is uh, light cone mode decomposition. And in the non-zero part, you can find uh, the previous operator, D. And you can, uh, you can take this Q into this form. And we know that the cohomology of Q and the cohomology of this term uh, are equivalent. So other terms are just a, just a homotopy. And after some computations, you can find a similarity transformation form by using um, yeah, Caltet and, and uh, yeah, light cone and differential on Caltet. So we can start with this form. And this U um, gives this field of the definition. Let me explain more detail. Here, we know BST Caltet has no cohomology except for, except for uh, right cone state space. So it implies that we have these types of decomposition by using D and this H. So, so because of this relation, um, our string field can split into physical part and BRST cartridge part. So now we can we can integrate this cartet out. And one comment, this H uh, behaves as a, as a kind of a propagator. So, yeah, because this relation is parallel to um, this relation. So we consider this type of linear field redefinition, then our written cell uh, becomes like this. So this LA is, of course, covariant and have gauge invariance. So, yeah, using this LA, we want to construct some effective action by pass integrating out um, on physical and gauge degrees. 
So very roughly speaking, we can, we can expand string field like this. Then action becomes like this. And by solving equations of motion for Caltech, and <laughs> by solving and by putting it into this action, we can, we can obtain um, its effective action. And higher vertices uh, takes like this form. So in these higher vertices, uh, this edge behaves as a pro propagator. And on all input and on output, there is a projector onto uh, light constant space. So this is a sketch of reduction. Next, uh, I would like to explain uh, it's mathematical part. So here, the key tool is so-called homological perturbation. So this lemma has two input. The first one is called as a standard situation. Let me explain. So in this standard situation, uh, B and W are vector space, and del V and del, del W are nilpotent operators acting on these vector spaces. So we can consider their cohomology, uh, for example, on left hand side and on right hand side. And the standard situation is a very special situation in which. Uh, the cohom this cohomology are uh, equivalent. So there is a homotopy equivalence relation. And the second input of this lemma is a perturbation, uh, which is an operator satisfying this relation. Then this lemma uh, will tell us, or will give us a new standard situation. So by using to input, we can obtain a new standard situation. And the standard situation is very natural in, in gauge series. So because here, this homotopy equivalence relation, we, we, we often meet this relation in physics. So in the left-hand side, for example, we have uh, this type of cell -E, and uh, its cohomology will correspond to its physical state. Then, this type of relation implies that uh, the feed split into physical part and a physical plus gauge part. Then, standard situation implies that by integrating out this uh, physical part, we can obtain an equivalent but reduced action. So this is a meaning of uh, standard situation. Thus, perturbation is very powerful. So because by using homological perturbation lemma, um, we can make a new standard situation from a given known situation. And in this situation, the left hand, hide, uh, <laughs> left -hand side and right hand side uh, physically equivalent. So our right to cone reduction is one example of this lemma. Yeah, we can start with BRST caltet, and we know it has no cohomology, so we have very, very trivial standard situation. Then we can add right to physics as a perturbation to very very trivial situation, then we will get this new standard situation. And it implies that uh, covariant string field theory, whose kinetic term is equivalent to, equivalent to Q, is, 
is or give the same physics as Lightcon 1. And by using this standard situation, uh, we can consider further perturbation. We can add interaction as a perturbation to this situation. Then we obtain this relation. The left hand side is equivalent to Witten Lee, and the right hand side is equivalent to Right on Lee with interaction. So this is a explicit form of uh, right on vertices. Yeah, this is a result. And <laughs> by using the same, same technique, uh, we can consider another example. In the right con reduction, we removed all of the cultet. But for example, we can remove almost all of the cultet yeah, except for n equal one in order to carry out such a reduction we have to consider this type of D, D1, instead of previous D. Then, then we obtain uh, this type of string field theory, which consists of tachyon and covariant massless mode and <laughs> right on like massive higher modes. And this action has very, very small uh, gauge degrees, but in terms of string feed in this theory, such a gauge transformation is generated by this infinity form. And if you kill the remaining um, n equal one cartet, uh, of course this theory reduces to the infinity right on theory. Yeah, let me summarize my talk. So I constructed um, some light constraining field theory from Witten theory. Then this theory has infinity structure and different from uh, Kafkikas type interaction, but consistent as a light theory and no gauge degrees. And it's S matrix, S matrix, at least classical S matrix is the same as a witness only. So, yeah, in this sketch, uh, yeah, I explained this relation. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some other three fee theory, which is consistent, which, which, yeah, which is, yeah, first string field is covariant, but interaction uh, is not covariant. It is given by very, very old papers. And yeah, of course you can <laughs> consider this relation, but it's working progress. And there's more, more older paper by Jigel, Zibak, and Kugo. It's OSP 26 to slash 2 extension of covariant theory. In this theory, string field consists of physical modes and covariant modes uh, plus one BRS cartet. <laughs> like this, argument of string fees uh, becomes more, more larger, but just one cartet. So we can apply the same thing technique to this CLD, and then formally uh, we, we get an infinity closed string field CLD whose string field is usual covariant one. Yeah, it's all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, and I have one more slide. Grazie mille for <laughs> the <real> organizer. <laughs> or non-linear sum field redefinitions. So, but such a redefinition 
will correspond to oh, this field this field redefinition should be equivalent to this field redefinition. Yeah. But in right concern there is a conformal anomaly. So this one may be better, I think. Lemma, uh, oh, perturbation, okay. Uh, uh, so if you can prepare some standard situation and its perturbation, then you can obtain new, uh, new and different standard situation. So it is a statement of lemma. Yeah, and this new standard situation can have different cohomology from the original one and can have different physics, but left-hand side and the right-hand side of the standard situation um, gives the same physics. So <laughs> this is a powerful point. So in this case, the selected Right, the concept, yes. So the concept of the lemma is that the bond and the mm -hmm. tilde and tilde are homotopy equivalent, that's the same as the sign of the theorem. What, 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 this one? And the tilde and tilde are homotopy equivalent. Yes. Yes. And this lemma uh, tell you how to uh, make this explicitly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very old lemma. So this result may be trivial for <laughs> mathematical physicists. <laughs> so when you, so when you have, for example, this uh, infinite vertices, mm -hmm. uh, is it uh, is there a simple way to understand how do they they correct the modular space? I mean, because okay, in the uh, theory you just you have a cubic vertex. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think there is a two possibility. The first one is that uh, it does not change the covering of moduli, but uh, we we went to the light conceli, so there is a some singularity occurs from cohomal anomaly or something like like that. So higher vertices. Uh, may be necessita necessitated to uh, regularize such a divergence. Th 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 this is a w one possibility. Then, and uh, I think there is a, another possibility. So, <laughs> can, can, can we? so yeah, actually, right con reduction uh, gives a further partition of a Witten type covering of the moduli space. In Witten theory, you have three point propagator, but in Witten theory, if you take two physical states as an input, in this theory, uh, physical mode and uh, physical mode can propagate. In the four point vertex. But after the reduction, we can only use this type of four point vertex uh, feature made by using three point vertex. So this one becomes um, three LC. So if diagram has some moduli, uh, carries some moduli, then uh, right on reduction will change the covering of moduli, but it, it is a just a further partition of written type covering. Uh, so th this is a second possibility. So possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs>